Do you believe in monsters? No? Well, I do. I guess if I didn't, I would quickly lose my sanity. For you see, some of my best friends are monsters. Oh, what's that? You want to hear more? Have I caught your curiosity, perhaps? Well, I hope for your sake you're not a cat. Well, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Like any normal bird, I was hatched from an egg. And like any normal bird, I had caring parents. However, one thing was out of the ordinary. Me. I was different. And oh boy, do you know how everyone hates different. Different how you ask? Well, you see, I'm not exactly the best example of a pheasant of my kind. In fact, you could say I was quite unordinary. And no, I don't mean that in a special snowflake kind of way. I mean it in a ha! Let's make fun of the outcast kind of way. You see, I'm a female pheasant. And female pheasants? Well, they are supposed to be a dull reddish brown, a gold, a black or a tan. And not a walking rainbow like myself. No, my colour was a lot more like, well, a male pheasant. Bright, loud, and not at all like it should be. Though, I tried not to let this bother me. It seems every other member of pheasant kind would not let me forget that I was a freak. Have you ever tried being a girl who looks like a boy? Well, it sure isn't gonna get you nominated prom queen, that's for sure. Thus, has my flight day classes, uh, that's like high school on survival for you non pheasants? Well, as my flight class days began, so did the torment from my fellow fledglings. And I can tell you, it was like hell on earth. <laughs> 